all the adrenaline junkies, which are other words, trauma nurses, trauma doctors, are going to our home. We're taking a half hour away at Santa Rosa because there's a complicated delivery that's in progress and they ask for medical assistance. We have two doctors going, two nurses going, a photographer going, the, our guide, and then excited people that are to help. Well, uh, the mom was having uh, some trouble uh, delivering the baby. Uh, she started being in the baby, started getting in distress. It wouldn't pass through the, you know, the birth canal. So um, uh, I, we had to get behind her and help, had to help mama for quite some time. And we, our concern was the baby was in quite a bit of distress, staying in the ca canal that long. We didn't know if the cord was wrapped around its neck or not. Uh, she went ahead. She had a, uh, she has a, the baby, and mom's doing okay. She was a little hypotensive, it means her blood pressure was real low, and just because she had a lot of blood loss. Uh -huh. No, he's not breathing. Okay. No, he's not. Come on. Pray for the baby, guys. Dear yeah. Lord, please help this baby to take a good breath. But the baby at first was not breathing and with just a little bit of time I had to do quite a bit of suction stimulation and uh, was able to get the baby where it started breathing and all, it started crying and it starts coughing up because mom had uh, in utero apparently had ripped her uh, the, uh, the placenta. So the baby it appears like it has aspirated or has sucked in some of the baby species that's in actually inside the mom, which is, in the, you know, in the States, we would actually have the baby in intensive care for that, for meconium aspiration, because she could have some respiratory problems, but here we suctioned and, and did what we could, and she's doing fine, uh, still a little lethargic, um, but I believe baby's going to be <laughs> That's right. Keep on crying, little one. Keep on crying, little one. We arrived there. There was a pregnant woman that was in about 40 hours in labor, and she was, and the baby was not good. The baby born after, uh, I think, an hour after that, and but the baby was so bad, he didn't respond, and that's why they do some CPR for babies that for newborn. She wasn't pushing in a good way, and that's why I had to sue everything. I did a suture about uh, 25 to 30 stitches. It will be, I think, 70% um, of the probability of the odds that she will be dead, because uh, she wasn't pushing in a good way, and she and she if she we, if she had had the baby, he had be dead but the mom will be dead after because of the of the blood good. it's a lie because of uh, the good job that brad and rachel did is i think is one of the things that i love of this job i can help people and i have a very good team with what i will what i work with and they help me a lot we all together did a good job and I th I thank Lord because he he gave us a, a new life and we can and we did the right things. This is it right here. This is what uh you know that's what God put us here for. Boy or girl? Okay. Hair. Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear.